bam back pow, with another video now you guys know the stock market is up a lot look at four huge jump if we go look at the spy huge pushments higher i'm gonna give you guys some new levels on the spy also that we need to be watching out for i think some big plays are going to come on the spy also been buying a lot of stocks today we're also going to go over impp you can already see our impp is shooting up to the moon now remember we don't chase price so I'm gonna give you guys levels to look at. It's okay, it can go to a dollar, I do not care. Only if it has a clear entry and a clear exit, will I play it. So let's go ahead and get to levels. Smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for being here. If you're new, my name is Will and I give you guys key levels on the stock market every day. So make sure you get this video over 100 likes. Any other stocks you guys are uh, looking at, make sure you comment that down below in the comment section so I can check it out. So for ticker symbol F, now, I had a resistance level at 1150, right? So it showed a little resistance here and clearly blew through that. So what am I looking for next? I would say $13 for resistance, but I think there is a potential play coming on forward and this will be a call option play. Now, be mindful, we are in like the worst market conditions of 20 years. Don't get too heavy on the upside because what goes up might come down. So just be mindful of that. Um, $13 at resistance level. And then what I'm looking at is, I'm actually looking at about $11, uh, it doesn't need to go, I would say $11.75 in that area, okay, so it's not a specific level, but in that area is kind of where I'll be looking at for buying pressure to occur, to actually trade it up to about $13. So I'll be looking for some pull down, then I'll be looking for that up movement, and then exiting in that area. That's the potential play that I'm looking at for Ford. Buying, buying buying and buying more so i'm looking to buy all longs this week i'm probably going to be buying longs every day this week i need to build those positions this is a crazy market time remember while we're in the worst 20 markets i mean 20 years of a stock market this is the best time to be buying those long terms so find out what long terms you want to get start building those positions and build that wealth so ford let's go to meta now meta we're going to go real quick on meta meta i bought shares today i think this is a easily over $260 stock, okay? So if you just compound that interest real quick, this is something we was talking about on the private live stream today, which you should join the team. First, again, that description, we have private live streams every day the market's open. That's about an 88% to 260. So if you compound that over two to three years, which I think will probably be there about three years, two to three years, that's about 20 to 30% a year compounded, right? So you put 100 grand, you're making about 20 grand or 30 grand on that 100 grand every year. The average return of the SPY is about 8%. So you're tripling the SPY average return in Meta, right? Just alone, one stock already tripling the SPY. That's how you build a wealth, okay? So bought Meta today. That's all I want to say on it. Bought shares. Next one I bought more of is Palantir, PLTR. We have a swing trade on this one and I'll have long-term shares on this one. We bought the swing somewhere in here. So those are doing good for us. I have long-term shares. This is an easy over $20 stock. That's why I plan on taking some profits. And then if you compound it, that's about 143%. So you can already do the math over three years, probably around like what? Close to 45% a year on just Palantir alone. So you're almost making half of your money back every year, right? So say you put 100 grand, you're literally making 50 grand on that money every year compounded over three years that's like another salary job right just by holding the stock so remember that bought palantir shares today amd okay now i did want to play amd today this morning ticker symbol amd right here oh let me drag it amd right here now you guys know i do want to build a long position on amd i think amd can easily get back to 120. now with that being said i had a support level on amd at 63 dollars what happened today support Okay, well, not today, but what happened this week? Support. Look how perfect that is, right? That's why I say never miss a video. Turn on those post notifications. I give you guys the best levels and knowledge in the stock market. Also, make sure you join the team. First thing in that description, you can pay monthly, you can pay for the year. If you pay for the year, you get two months free. You get my private live streams, you get my buys and sales. But also, more importantly, I want you guys to come learn how to trade, how to find entries, exits, long scalps, how to pick the best options, when to do put options, call options, when to hedge. What's the difference between buying pressure? What's the difference between buying pressure confirmation? Join the team before the market goes bullish. So when the market goes bullish, you'll know how to trade it and then you can make the money from it, right? So join the team, prices go up November 1st. So AMD, AMD held support here. I was gonna trade AMD. Um, I was gonna get call options. I think it was here. Then we had a big pop up and that was kind of just trading softer. Remember, a lot of stocks right now did have that big jump up. So try not to go too heavy on any upside. We might see some pull down. Try not to go heavy 
in any direction right now, really, except it's long. So if you're looking to hold it over a year or something, I think that's when I would go heavy on it. But for now, AMD actually does have support there, but it actually has a level I'm looking out for call options. Around 66.50, I'm looking for potential call options on AMD to trade up a little higher. Now, like I said, we're in a very heavy bearish market, so you don't want to go anything too heavy on the upside. But that's what I like so far. And then probably look for an exit of about $72. That's where I look for an exit at. Okay, so that's a nice play I'm looking at to buy on um, AMD. As you can tell, the title is buying everything or buying. I don't know what I'm putting the title as, but buying something. Looking to buy a lot. So 66.50 to about 72. That's a call option play. Shares, I don't think it'll be uh, enough for shares. Let me see. Yeah, only about 8% for shares. I usually like 10% minimum. But I like this play on AMD a lot. The SPY, the SPY has two levels, support at 353, that's actually still a support, but the support is going to go higher now, okay, but I'll change that in a different video, I just want to let you guys know, SPY had a big pump up here, but we do have a resistance at about 380 to 381, so I'm going to put it at about 381, that is our new resistance on the SPY, just in case it shoots up like crazy or anything, I just want to give you guys a resistance level to watch out for some selling pressure on there, okay, so watch out for that, but be mindful, before going all the way up here, we might want to pull down some, then go, or we could pull down and start breaking again. Remember this, all right? We might see that here. It's looking like the same thing. That's all I'll say. Okay, so that's all I want to tell you guys on the SPY. IMPP, shooting to the moon, and it's not stopping, okay? This one's actually going, let me write that. Uh, let me write that down, actually, because I'm very interested in this one, but I don't want to, like, chase price or anything like that. Like I said, shoots up about two, three days, then it comes down. Shoots up about two, three days, then it comes down. This one is actually very strong right here. So what we need, uh, let me just clear the whole chart. Okay, so IMPP. What we need on this one is we need some type of pull down. I don't want to chase. You don't want to be holding a bag, especially in this market. You don't want your money tied up into a bag where it could be tied up into something that's actually working. So I would say the first level I'm looking at on this one is 36 cents for support. Support is like the key thing we need right now on IMPP. We need to see where it finds support. If support starts building at higher prices, then that will present strength, okay? But right here, so let me write it out. This is what we're looking for on support. That's it. Support, if we don't get support on here, can't really play it. IMPP needs support. Next. Remember that video that I posted yesterday? It was like four stocks that can explode to tomorrow. Watch that video and look at the stocks. They're all pretty much up today. I said, finally, CEI, IMPP. So I'm giving you guys hints on these. IMPP went up today. This is big for tomorrow. You'll see SPY went up today. Just never miss a video. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get the channel 100K subscribers. Instagram is will.knowledge. Will.knowledge on Instagram. The link is right here. Just in case you don't go to the wrong one. Rig, R-I-G. So this was in uh, the video that I said, um, Four stocks to explode this is one of them and it's pushing so i'm actually giving you guys some new levels on here i'm looking at about 275 now and i'm leaving the same exit so i'm still leaving the exit at about three dollars and 20 cents so if we get a little pullback about 275 still looking at about a 16 percent gain okay i like this one a lot make sure you watch it we'll see how that buying pressure confirms at that level now this one still could fall down to the floor so i'm actually looking to trade it to the upside and then I'm looking to trade it to the downside also. So just be mindful of that. I'm kind of looking to play it both ways um, on a rig. And then last one, kind of put uh, one of the best ones for last is charge point. That doesn't mean I'm going to go the heaviest on there, but CHPT, resistance at $16. But we have a buying level now at $15.50. 15 dollars 50 15 here. But the only thing is where I see exit, about a 13. Oh, actually, that's perfect. So I'm going to put a resistance. So let me turn this. Actually, let me let me clone this first. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button. Oh, what happened? There you go. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash the like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes. I really appreciate it. That's all I ask. If you just smash the like button, it won't take that long. And then exit about 17.50 for about a 13% gain. Very high probable play. I just want a little pull down because if I bought now, it'd only be 6%, right? So not really worth it. So I won't pull down. I think that'd be a high probable play. I put it at the end. Very, 
I might even go heavy on this one, honestly, because it's very, it looks very good, okay? But it could also crash down because I also see downward pressure. So kind of watch out for that 1550 buying pressure level on charge point. Make sure you guys don't forget to join the team. First thing in that description. Always remember, no recommendation of our sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I'll catch you guys in that next one.